Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Jordan, and today I figured I would talk about another old western film that's, of course, low budget, sort of obscured, I guess you could say, and yes, it came back from way back when, which is totally fine by me anyway, since I tend to review a lot of old stuff to begin with, so yeah, there you go. So for today's feature is the one titled The Light of Western Stars. So yeah. This one came out a lot a while ago. It's from the forties, I guess you would say. So I thought it wouldn't hurt nobody to talk about this one again. Because I've I've often often talked about old movies anyway, I guess you could say, so I just thought I just might as well do another of these. Since I've already reviewed quite a, bit old, a lot of old Western films anyway, so I never continue to do so as often as I can. So yeah, there you go, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, and another thing is that it's also on my to-do list. Yeah, I know I was setting a, a notebook, but I'm coming it to my to-do list anyway. Because I have quite a stuff to view. I do mean a lot. Oh boy. But yeah. I just thought, I might as well do another one since I have a lot of stuff to talk about anyway. On this list. So, I'm just happy to be on one of the most happy review anyway. And also, yeah, this is a, a, a legit list, folks. So, plenty of stuff to cover here. And I do mean plenty of stuff. So, as you can see, I've had this for quite a while. Oh boy. Beat the hell. Yeah, sorry, it's really beat the hell. Anyway, as usual, let's just talk about story, shall we? So, here we go. Yes, sorry. Yeet. In this movie, we get to see that there's this individual, let's just say, buys a ranch, not exactly knowing the. Um, this, is, uh, this person is using it smuggle ammunition across the border. Well, you have to have some sort of conflict within the story, some way, somehow. Anyway, the thing is that when the trouble does start, the she buys back uh, this individual, the ex-foreman who bought the country after fighting with the sheriff, I guess, who pretty much just left the country after fighting with the sheriff, and uh, there's like a scheme that's going on, and that forces him to do something, I guess you would say. But yeah, things do get rather, rather complicated in this movie. So yeah, a female, the female character does become rather important in this movie. Yes, that actually does happen in these movies. One thing I would definitely say is that a lot of people don't seem to bring up the fact that women can be just as important in these films like the male characters. So, yeah, a lot of people don't seem to bring that up, really. But anyway, but that's definitely a thing in this film, folks. But anyway, as I was saying, this movie does have a pretty solid story. It's not very long, really. So, it does get pretty straightforward, rather flat, fast, which I do appreciate when it comes to these films as a whole. Yeah, I don't like it when they take too long to get to the point of the matter, I, I guess you would say. When it comes to these types of movies, yes, what I'm trying to say is that I do get bored rather easily. I'm going to be honest here. But yeah, this one doesn't take too long to get to the point, to the action and whatnot. What needs to be happening, of course. But yeah, this one does have its moments and whatnot. I do recommend this one for anyone who have not seen it as of yet, because I thought this film was pretty enjoyable in its own little way. I mean, okay, it may, it may not have the most fancy filmmaking ever out there, but in some ways, it doesn't have to. Not really, no. It does a good enough job in telling the story, to explain who's important and whatnot. You do need a sense of conflict within the story, because I've mentioned multiple times or if there's no conflict and there's no uh, drama and if there's no drama there's no story and if there's no story 
then there's no reason for me to give a rat's ass. So yeah, this one does have a rather old school feel to it, which I did like. That's definitely a plus in my book, obviously. I do like a lot of these old Russian films. I mean, okay, they might not be the fanciest films ever made. And yeah, they're rather cheap. The budgets aren't exactly the biggest, really. But I guess in some ways, it kind of gives these films a sort of charm to them, I guess you would say. Like the old saying goes, they don't make them like they used to. It definitely applies here in a lot of ways, because it does have that sort of feel to it, in other words, I guess. But yeah, I like this one, folks. It's not exactly bad or anything. I recommend this one if you're a fan of this genre and whatnot, and if you're someone that wants to look for other movies to watch, of the genre, so check this one out. And no, this one is definitely in black and white. I know a lot of people out there don't want to watch black and white films. But I personally don't mind it really. I reviewed and spoke about so many black and white films before, and I will, of course, continue to do so. Damn it. No one. So, yeah. I'll say it's definitely worth checking out, folks. And I would plan to review more wrestling films as often as I can. Because, why not? I reviewed a lot of them before, so why stop? I'll give this one a normal ball rating of a 7.0 out of 10. It's a 7.0 out of 10 for me. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah. Later.